Good morning, everyone. Welcome to session 24 of Jazz and Rock and Roll Horns. We are talking about polychords and alternating triads and all kinds of interesting stuff that you can use for other things besides your horn section. They work great for voicing for vocals or um, violins, if you like. Um, they're really nice. And so far, we've talked about uh, pretty much major key. Uh, C major, alternating tries for C for the one chord, for the two chord, for the three chord in major, the two chord in major. So now we're going to talk about uh, minor. Okay, so let's stay in the key of C and we're going to talk about minor. So natural minor, which is three flats, right? So here's, okay, so here's three flats. E flat is the relative major, right, for natural minor. So let's take a C minor chord. Um, and it's going to be C, E flat, and G. Okay, so the one chord in minor is a little bit, well, let's go over that. Let's talk about that later. Let's go to the two chord in minor and the five chord in minor. So remember the two chord in major was D minor. Okay, but what happened here? We have an A flat here. Now we're in the key of E flat. And so now we have an we have an A flat, not an A natural. Here's the first, second, third. Here's the first, third, fifth, and seventh degree of our D minor chord. Okay? But we have that A flat. So it's a flat five in minor. So your two chord uh, in a minor key is with a flat, is a D minor flat five. That's where those things come from. You always hear about them, you know flat five, flat nine, flat, all this stuff. Typically they're all in the minor keys. So <clears throat> if this is in, what's the, we're in C minor, okay, but what's the relative major in C minor? Is E flat major, right? So what is the fourth degree and the fifth degree of E flat is A flat and B flat. Okay, so if we build a major's chord off A flat, it's A flat, C, E flat, and B flat. So these are A flat, and that's a B flat. Okay, <clears throat> that would be our alternating triads over the D minor flat five. Okay, the two flat five chords. Here's D minor. D, F, A flat, C. Here's A flat. Ooh. Nice. B flat. So you can... Over a D pedal. And there you have it. And that would be... Okay. Then... Let's say we were going to go and do, what's the five chord in C minor? It's a, let's go down here. Okay. So here's G, and here's our flats. We're in, we're in three flats, right? So here's G, B. Okay. So, and here's our nine. Okay. Now, typically in a five chord, in a G, you're, you're, third is is natural okay it's going to be it's a five chord. it's not a g minor chord so it's a dominant chord so it's going to dominant chords have a major third right the interval it's not a g minor chord you would think because here's our sorry about the scribbling a flat b flat e flat right so but look at this a flat up here here's a flat in a, in a, in in the uh, g seven in a major chord in a major key the nine is 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 an a is a regular is a natural so if we're in c major that a but we're in c minor now so that a is flat that's where you come 
with the flat nine. So now, now that's a G7 flat nine. Okay. Now, if we were to do the same thing, G, B natural, D, F, and let's say we went B flat, that B flat's going to be a B flat. Okay, so that's your, that would be a plus nine. A natural, I mean natural nine, plus nine. Stevie Ray Vaughan. You know, we always hear that. More in a blue, you hear it more in a blues context a lot, you know, more than this one, more than the flat nine. So D minor flat five, G seven flat nine, C as a one chord, C. That sound, when you hear that minor, that's, that's, a, that's a, a one in minor, okay? So, what, what, what our alternating triads would be, if this is really, it's, you know, we're thinking this is in C minor, what's the relative major to C minor is E flat major. What's the four and five in E flat major? A flat, B flat, okay? So, over your G. Like that, okay? Um, there's some other ones we can do, uh, but that that that's a good for starters. That's in the C. Now your one chord. Let's talk about a one chord in minor. Okay, here is usually typically a, a minor chord is pr pretty much always a two chord. Okay, it always functions as a two chord. So in C, D minor, G seven, C. Okay, or you could do the F, G, C. The D minor two chord and the F chord, the four major, pretty much function is the same. It's just a difference in color. Jazz will use two, five, one. Rock and roll uses, or you know, whatever style will dictate that. Um, let me think now. So, okay, on the on the on the one minor. You're gonna, it's gonna be melodic minor. So you have, as part of the natural minor, which is three flats, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, all up. The one, the minor uh, in, uh, the one chord in minor has a major seven. Okay? So, but the interesting thing is, um, so your alternating triads for that would be in C, which would be F and G major. Because you've got that, and with the G on top, which would be your polychord, it, you would have the five, the major seven, and the nine. But you still got the flat third in there. Okay. Oh, there's the egg timer. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll get a little bit more into this. There's some other alternating triads, like um, let's say G seven. You know, we talked about. Uh, a flat B flat but you can also go G7 D flat major uh, D flat major E flat major okay because now we're in the key of A flat anyway we'll talk about that further along uh, I just want to mention again that that uh, I'm planning a, an online workshop so people can hear their work played by some great musicians here in the Portland area and I'm going to send out a more detailed uh, itinerary, if you will, not really an itinerary, but just some detailed explanation of what I'd like to try and what we, I think would be a great idea. And uh, we plan on doing this in uh, January, so if you're interested, let me know. But shoot me an email, fred at fredstickleymusic.com, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks for stopping by.